Breaking, now FBI says they can't find Deputy Director Andrew McCabe's text messages by Jim Hoff for thegatewaypundit.com. The world's premier intelligence agency just lost another batch of text messages? Does anyone believe this? Judicial Watch President Tom Fitton joined Judge Jeanine Pirro on her Fox News program Saturday night. Tom Fitton told Judge Janine how difficult it was dealing with the Jeff Sessions Justice Department. Then Tom Fitton dropped this bomb. The FBI will not turn over Deputy Director Andrew McCabe's text messages. Andrew McCabe was uh, famously mentioned in a Peter Strzok, Lisa Page text message discussing an insurance policy against a Donald Trump presidency. Brett Baer here, a uh, text from Peter Strzok to Lisa Page, Andy is Andrew McCabe. I want to believe the path you threw out for consideration in Andy's office, that there's no way he gets elected, but I'm afraid we can't take that risk. It's like an insurance policy, in unlikely event you die before you're 40. Now this, the FBI told uh, Judicial Watch they can't find McCabe's text messages. Tom Fitton uh, says we sued back in September for the text messages of the number two at the FBI, Andrew McCabe, and they just told us this week they gave us everything they're going to give us, and not one text message was turned over. They lost all of Andrew McCabe's text messages? I don't believe it. There's still uh, game gamemanship going on. The Clinton email investigation was corrupt all along, and my next guest is here to outline the major developments, confirming our worst suspicions about the way the Department of Justice and FBI have been operating. Judicial Watch President Tom Fitton joins me now. Now, um, for all my viewers who haven't heard me say it before, Tom Fitton is the guy who does more than Congress does because he goes to court and gets this stuff that the the uh, FBI and the Department of Justice tell Congress they don't have. So he's my hero. But anyway. Let's talk for a moment, Tom, about uh, these text messages from uh, the uh, Struck and his gourmand there, uh, Lisa Page, right? We <laughs> like can't the find these text messages. <laughs> we don't have them. It was, was never good. captured. Now, you go to court. Tell us what happens. Oh, we sued for them, and then they said they found them two hours later. Uh, what? <laughs> I mean, who are they fooling? But don't worry, there's an internal watchdog at the Justice Department that's investigating itself here, both itself and the FBI. You know, the sessions were serious about this, and I think he ought to be very serious about it is. He recognized this is just the tip of the iceberg. He should send the U.S. Marshals in over to the FBI and to secure the evidence here, because there are other text messages that have yet to be turned over to Congress. You know, and separately, we knew there were text messages to be had. We sued back in September for the text messages of the number two at the FBI. Andrew the compromise, McCabe. Andrew McCabe. And they just told us this week, they gave us everything they were going to give us, and not one text message was turned over. Have they lost all of Andrew McCabe's text messages? I don't believe it. Back up. There's still gamesmanship going on. I haven't on. heard this before. Now the FBI is saying they have no text messages from Andrew McCabe. Is that they the latest? Back. They have not turned over any text messages. They said they, they gave us everything they're going to give us. We asked specifically for text messages. We represent a former FBI supervisory agent in this lawsuit. He knows what to ask for. And they told us essentially, you're not getting any text messages because they gave us everything they're going to give us. Okay. Where are Andrew McCabe's text messages? Where are James Comey's text messages? Ah. Ah, all right, let's talk about McCabe. McCabe's the one who got the Clinton Foundation money from uh, Tim McAuliffe, the governor of Virginia, for his wife, sends his resume over there in violation of the Hatch Act. There are at least three, four investigations, as I recall. Yeah. Uh, and the guy's still working. Tom, is there anything you can do to stop the American taxpayers from paying these people? You want the marshals over there. I want them taken out in cuffs. Well, what is Director Ray doing? Uh, he's defending Andrew McCabe. He's protecting Strzok, he's protecting Lisa Page. Uh, in the ordinary course, these, the, those three individuals would be removed from FBI headquarters in the least. Uh, so uh, there's a real problem with the leadership of the FBI. Either Ray is oblivious or complicit. Either way, we need strong action and pressure on the FBI to clean out its ranks at the leadership level 
that has allowed this, for instance, this scam to go on, obstructing Congress, obstructing the courts and the text message issue, and maybe obstructing justice in terms of withholding and trying to hide these text messages and other documents. Remember, it's this Justice Department that fought tooth and nail to ter uh, in terms of turning over this dossier information, which by all accounts shows that they lied to the courts. Jeff Sessions has got to take stronger action here. And if Rod Rosenstein isn't going to do it, they should find someone who will if he, Mr. Sessions, has to recuse himself from the Russia investigation. Yeah. Rosenstein's responsible for this. He runs the operations of the Justice Department day to day. The FBI reports to him in the ordinary course. There's got to be accountability. We've got to start calling these individuals you out know, I don't know what else we can do. I really don't. But i got to tell you, I couldn't agree with you more. That place is dirty, and that's because it's in the headquarters. The field offices are good. Sure. But where they take these major cases to headquarters and they play politics. Tom Fitton, thanks so much for being with us. You're welcome. And coming up, the glove. If uh, Judge Janine doesn't know what to do, we certainly don't know what to do. But again, why aren't they turning Andrew McCabe's uh, texts over? I bet you any amount of money that Hillary Clinton was calling McCabe also. <laughs> and Comey, of course they have Clinton, Clinton speaking to them. Probably maybe even Obama, who knows? They're hiding a lot of this stuff. And if it wasn't for Judicial Watch, would any of this have taken place? That's the big question here. In other words, if uh, Tom Fitton didn't ste step up, who would take care of the, this stuff to be released to the public, at least up to the point of what we know right now? I mean, this is really crazy at this point. This is crazy. What do we have these uh, agencies for? when they're not doing their job. And somebody from the outside, like uh, Judicial Watch, has to come up and uh, clear this up? What if he didn't do it? Would we know any of this? I don't know. Those are very good questions. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.